Hello everyone and welcome to Shiki Starcraft's uh, third video here. This one will be a one vs one again. It is going to be another Protoss vs Zerg. Uh, we've got Dark Sonic spawning as the red Zerg down here at the bottom and Shiki as the blue Protoss up here at the north. This is Desert Oasis. A lot of people hate this match or this map mostly because of the extremely long distance you have to run uh, to get to your base or to get to the other opponent's base. Uh, here we see him sending out a very early drone uh, to go scout me. He has not started his spawning pool. Uh, he has not started his overlord. Uh, he is just getting drones now at the... At the uh, ooh, this one doesn't ra even rally. He does have his rally point set though. I don't know what happened there. Back in my base. Um, built my first pylon and I'll chrono boost my next probes and I have sent my scout out as well uh, my scouts just a little behind his uh, Zerg usually don't often scout with a drone that early just because of the fact that their overlord is gonna get there almost the same time as his drone so I really think that was uh, some wasted time and mineral time and mining time from his part back in his base. He's at 13 and he hasn't built his spawning pool yet. It looks like he's gonna go for... A th yeah. Oh, and look at this. My probe actually inadvertently ran behind his mineral line where he was gonna put his spawning pool and it delayed it a few extra seconds. So he does have uh, three more drones coming out here. He did go for a 13 pool and then built three more drones. I am getting my first gateway up and I can see that he's Spawning pool is not really early, it's not really late, so it's just kind of a standard build at this point for him. His overlord is scouting my base, going to come check out what I'm doing over here. I'm going to come and build a quick cybernetics core. Um, I could have built this better and, and done a little better job at walling off, that's for sure. Against Zerg, it's always a good, uh, a good idea to wall off to prevent Zerglings from getting through in large numbers. I've got my gas going already, and as standard, with my cyber core, I usually get my second gas. Um, he's making his second overlord's way up all or up near my base, so he'll have two areas of my base scouted. He's going to have to get out soon, though, because once this cybernetics core is up, uh, there's potential to have a sentry or a stalker come out and try to kill it. Um, I noticed he was coming to build his hatchery, so oh, I thought I was going to try to... Uh, prevent that and delay it, but anyways, he is going for a rather late hatchery. It's a 21 hatchery. He got he's got his queen out and a couple zerglings. Um, I don't get to see anything else in his base. Uh, I did notice he doesn't have any gas going yet, uh, which is a good sign that he's either a going for a very strong econo or economic build. He's getting his second uh, queen as well, well before his second hatchery will be even close to being done. He's got his two overlords up in my base. I do see this one. Build a sentry, and I'm going to take it out. He will become supply locked because of it, but that shouldn't be a big deal. We'll see how long it takes him to build another overlord. And overlord, overlord, drone, drone, drone. Making good use of the queen in order to get a lot of drones out quick. He's got his second queen up. There should be no reason not to have spawn larva on his hatchery as soon as possible making the queens way over. As you can see with patch 10, queens now do move extremely slow. It's almost unbearable. Um, I think he should have did a poop to creep tumor here before since he is going to have that extra uh, energy by the time he gets here. But either way, what I would do and what he's doing is a different thing. Uh, he sets his rally point down here so that he's got a good defense of both of his bases. If I come and push here, he can move his army a little, and if I come this way and try to go up his ramp, he can uh, flank me and surround me. Back in my base, I am getting a first observer because I don't know what he's building. I don't know if he's going lair tech. I don't know if he's going roaches, hydras, or what, um, or if he's going to do a quick tech to mutas. Who knows? Anyways, uh, my observer is out and on the way to his base. I see a zergling try to take the Zelnaga watchtower here. Making, he's making really good use of the Zelnagas. Uh, Zerg gets really easy to do because Zerglings, you can take two, two towers for only 50 minerals. 
That's virtually nothing these days. Uh, with my Overlord, I do see him going Lair Tech, uh, which means Hydras or Mutas or Infestors. Uh, not a lot of players in the Gold League use Infestors to their capacity. Doesn't really surprise me. Um, despite seeing him go to Lair Tech, I don't know why, but I'm building additional Immortals. I do like to have a few Immortals to complement my army in taking out uh, structures or roaches or anything that's armored. Uh, queens are not armored, so you, they don't get the bonus damage um, versus them. Uh, making my first push out with uh, a fairly large army, I guess. But unfortunately, his overlord does see this because uh, I didn't have enough things to kill it. And because of this, uh, my sentries actually got delayed a little. And my two zealots uh, were already behind my army. So this was my first problem in the game. I split my army up too much. At this point, um, I'm going to get in here, and you're going to see that he's going to have a very strong army advantage on me. Uh, I think I could have won this game, definitely. Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. Um, I told you I would post losses. This is going to be a learning experience for me and for everyone else. But anyways, I took my army in, and for some reason, I didn't have them on attack move. That was probably my biggest noobish mistake. I normally always use attack move, but for some reason, I didn't. Actually, I do remember why I didn't. There was an overlord here that was a little closer to the pathway, and I didn't want my army stopping to take try, to try to take that army or that overlord out. I wanted to move in as soon as possible. I think if I would have waited for my full force, I could have defeated his zerglings and taken out his expansion, and that would have given me enough time to come in and take out his spire. Uh, once he gets his spire up, you, his spire up, you can see he's building lots of mutalisks. Um, at this point, I know the Spire's up. My Observer's right here. I am making a quick transition to Stalkers. Um, stalkers and Sentries are pretty much the best way to deal with Mutalisks. Uh, to mix in a few Sentries so that you can have Guardian Shield is very important. Uh, at this point, I'm building an extra two Gateways to pump out uh, these units a bit faster. I still have 